Izzy's heart raced as he inked his first NIL deal, signing a groundbreaking contract that would change his life forever. With the ink barely dry, he couldn't wait to celebrate his success. Eager to revel in his newfound glory, Izzy decided to treat himself to a powerful Dodge Ram TRX. The sleek beast of a truck roared to life as he took it for its maiden drive, the thrill of speed and power coursing through his veins. Little did Izzy know, danger lurked in the shadows. The same menacing figures that had targeted his cousin Keon had caught wind of Izzy's success and weren't about to let him escape unscathed. As Izzy cruised through the city in his brand new TRX, a darkened SUV trailed him discreetly. The echoes of danger sent shivers down his spine, but he remained oblivious to the unseen threats closing in. Meanwhile, Kian, who had been keeping a watchful eye on his cousin's rise to fame, sensed the impending danger. Urgently, he reached out to Izzy, cautioning him about the perilous situation that unfolded. In a tense phone call, Kian revealed the chilling truth. Those after him had expanded their scope to include anyone connected to him, putting Izzy directly in the crosshairs. Panic set in as Izzy realized the gravity of the situation. The next moments were a heart-pounding race against time. Izzy, now aware of the imminent danger, struggled to outmaneuver the ominous pursuers in his powerful TRX. Every turn became a potential escape or a trap, and the city's neon lights blurred as the tension escalated. Will Izzy manage to navigate this perilous situation unscathed, or will the shadows of Keon's past catch up with him? The Clemson Tigers are well into the season and are widely regarded as one of the best teams in college football. Izzy Marshall, the highly touted offensive weapon and face of the program, is playing at the top of his game and has become a fan favorite. However, news of the recent shooting of Izzy's car has sent shockwaves through the Clemson community. Fans are worried about Izzy's safety and there are rumors swirling around campus that he may be targeted. Despite the distraction, Izzy remains focused on his team and their upcoming game against a tough opponent. But during practice, he seems to be struggling, and his teammates are starting to worry that the shooting may have rattled him more than he's letting on. As game day approaches, tensions run high among the players and fans, but when Izzy takes the field, he seems to be a man possessed. His arm is like a rocket, and he's tearing up the opposition's defense with ease. Even after taking a hard hit, he bounces back up and leads the team to a thrilling victory. After the game, Izzy meets with reporters and talks about the shooting. He acknowledges that it was a scary experience, but he's grateful for the outpouring of support from his teammates and fans. He also says that he's more motivated than ever to lead the Clemson Tigers to a championship and make his hometown proud. Coming into this game against Louisville, they trying to knock us off. We trying to remain undefeated, trying to get to that national championship game as we pick up eight right there, we going in motion. You cannot take this guy one-on-one. -on -one. We doing as much as we can in this game, not only this game, but moving forward. We pick up nine right here. And once he put a move on you like that, it's just goodbye. Night-night as we jump out to a 14-0 lead. Unfortunately, our defense gave up seven, but when you got this guy right here on the field, play him on top of positions, don't matter where you put him at, he's going to ball out. Second touchdown of this game. Now, right here, we just gonna do a wildcat, turn on the speed, turn on the jets. Good night. Third touchdown on the game. We got the hat trick going on. A second and two, bringing this guy in motion. And I got a story cooked up for y'all, man. Definitely a good story. And moving forward, right here, if we did not get tripped, that definitely would have been a lot more yardage than it was. First and 10, we up 28 to 10. Once again, total mismatch. That is a catch. That is a touchdown. He's fourth on the game. Fourth on the game, man. You better enjoy this kid while you got him, man. Definitely better enjoy this kid while you got him. As we've been ahead and just routed Louisville. Deep player of the game. This dude is a dog, man. Definitely a dog. Let's jump into this game against Cal Bear. We trying to wildcat quarterback. We wanted to throw it, but nah, we're going to take what we can and we get 11 in the first down with second and two. Swinging out to your boy Izzy, trying to make something happen Great one tackle. Shakes a defender, he picks up four. Right here, we got sold out, but this dude Shipley, Shipley, straight took it to the house. Right here, we break off our route and that's just good night, man. That is good night. First touchdown on, on the game. Now we up 14 and 7. Trying to turn the corner. 
This dude is running his ass off. This dude is running his ass off, bro. But lucky enough, the dude had to easy had to put on the brakes, man, and score that touchdown. Did you see how explosive he looked? He had his sights set on the end zone, and he was not gonna be stopped. Now the second quarter is winding down. We only up by seven, so the defense definitely has to string it together. Linebacker on this guy, just a total nightmare. As we pick up 18 in the first down, we got to sort that one play. And the quarterback is out here looking like Lamar Jackson. As he take the quarterback, keep and picks up a huge gain. The Cal Bears, they end up scoring a touchdown, man. We are trying. We wanted to throw the ball, but we going to take what the defense give us. And we swerve into the end zone. Second touchdown on the game. We at quarterback again. We want a passing touchdown, bro. As we talk to Randall, Randall picks up 12 in the first down, second and goal. We want to make things happen, but unfortunately, something happens. We do our first career interception, but that's okay. Third and goal. Sweeney gave us another opportunity, and we do our touchdown pass after throwing the interception. But stick around, stay tuned, man. This episode is not over, man. Leave me y'all thoughts, y'all ideas. Moving forward, second player of the game, man. But stick around, man. The story continues right now. The distinct sound of a football whistling through the air is heard as the screen transitions to the Tigers' practice field. Players are dispersing, but one figure remains. Cut to the office of Coach Debo Swinney, a shrine to Clemson's storied football legacy. The walls are adorned with championship banners and the echoes of hearty locker room celebrations. Sitting across from Swinney is the subject of the current buzz, Isaiah Izzy Marshall, a versatile player who's suddenly on every NFL scout's radar, likened to the dynamic Debo Samuel for his extraordinary ability to influence the game. Coach Swinney leans forward, a glint of pride in his eyes. Izzy, you've got NFL scouts filled to the brim in those bleachers just to see you play. Heard a couple of them saying you're like Debo Samuel out there, a jack of all trades on the field. Izzy shifts modestly in his chair, listening intently as the coach continues. But listen to me, Swinney says, pausing to ensure his words resonate. You're not Debo, you're Izzy. You've got your own style, your own game. That's what's going to make you great. That's what got you here, and that's what will carry you wherever you go, whether it's the NFL or any other dream you chase. The young athlete nods, absorbing the seasoned coach's words like a sponge. Intensity and determination are etched in Izzy's eyes, but there's a flicker of uncertainty as well. I just don't want to get distracted, coach, Izzy admits. With all this talk about the NFL, I want to make sure I'm doing right by the team now. Swinney gets up and paces briefly, hands on his hips, before turning to face Izzy with a compassionate yet stern expression. Izzy, the scouts talking and the comparisons, they're part of the game at this level, Swinney states with conviction. But remember, they're looking not just at how you catch or run, they're watching to see if you can keep your head when all those around you are losing theirs. Izzy listens, nodding his breathing steadied and focused as the weight of his coach's words finds a home in his heart. Stay grounded, do your job, support your teammates. The rest of the season is ahead, and that's where you need to be, 100%. The future has a way of falling into place when we do what we're supposed to do in the present. Izzy stands, his 5 foot 10 inch frame emanating a resolve that's been fortified by the coach's wisdom. Thanks coach, I'll keep my head where my feet are, right here with the Tigers.